I got torn away from my home and brought to the coastline in chains. The journey over the big ocean, the terrors on board. It was pure luck I survived. And it was also my luck I got acquired by the captain. He shipped me to his home, England, where I now serve as his slave. Soon we'll depart on our next journey, away from rainy England to the distant shores I once called my home. Don't speak unless you're told to. Tim, stop walking around like a headless horse crab. Mr. Blotherbloom and I have just signed our contract. Soon we're going to get slaves for the Caribbean markets. Go get us that golden bottle of brandy on the counter, so Mr. Blotherbloom and I can seal the deal with a drink. Did you get the brandy? Ah. Very good. Sometimes I think we'll get a decent person out of you yet. Our mission takes us to Africa, close to the village where you lived before you became my slave. You should have a look at the places we will travel to on the wall map. Now, where is my pipe? I always put it in my right pocket. Seven blundering blisters! I must have dropped my precious pipe at the docks. Run and fetch it, Tim. Click the point counter to see what hides behind it. there. Should I call you Tim or Putich? You remember your African name, right? My name is Tempest. I'm here to help you out a little and follow you on your upcoming journey. It's going to be an exciting one. I have big ears and a good nose, so if you need help, I might have some helpful info. How may I help you? I think the balding man with the peg leg over there picked up a pipe just now. He seems a bit unclear about how to use it, though. How may I help you? Adventure awaits. The name's Sean Wallace, able adventurer, sailor of the seven seas and defeater of sea serpents. Yeah, I just picked it up. But I don't bother with pipes. Real adventurers chew on red-hot embers. Now that's something that makes you feel cool. Your captain, you say? I imagine he'd like a heroic adventurer like me on board his ship. Tell me where you're going, and I'll give you the pipe. Now that's adventurous. I must join your crew for sure. No more British rain. Black devils and mermaids, look out! Here I come! I'll find your captain before you leave and convince him to take me along. How would he be able to say no to a handsome, heroic adventurer like me? Here's the pipe. And you found my pipe. Good job. Adventurer? <laughs> but the old cook was so bad that I suspect it was his cooking and not scurvy that killed my men. Maybe this so-called adventurer can replace him. On another note, Mr. Blotherbloom wants to talk to you. He wants to make sure you're loyal to us. If Mr. Blotherbloom trusts you, we'll get ready to leave for Africa. All right, little slave, listen. We'll be going to the part of Africa where you came from, and we want you to join us since you speak the native language. But I need to know that you will be loyal to us on this mission. It will be tough, and you might even meet someone you know or have heard of before. We need you. 
But know that if you're disloyal, there will be no mercy. Now, swear by God that you'll be loyal to us. Very good. You know that Captain Seahab's eyes will be watching your every move. One mistake, and I wouldn't want to be you. I'm done with you for now. This is your trust meter. It shows how much the Captain trusts you. Beware it does not land in the red area. If it comes too far down, you'll be thrown back into chains. So you proved your loyalty, you little landlubber. Let's go to the docks. Tim, go meet Dr. Eagle Edge. Make sure he's ready for the journey. The doctor is the one with the big black hat. Come back to me once he's confirmed that he's ready to set sail. Hello there. My name is Dr. David Eagle Edge. I'm going to join this here fine ship as a surgeon. I've been on one of these trips before, but I can already tell you now that it's not going to be pretty. But what is your name? I mean your real name. The one you had before you became a slave. Before they gave you a new Christian name. Puttich. I'll try to remember that. But when anyone else is near, I'll call you by your new Christian name. Tim. Now, what can I do for you? Almost, but I need to find my magnifying glass. I can't leave without it. I need it to make great discoveries on the voyage, so I can get into the Royal Society of Science in London. Hello, Puttage. Did you find my magnifying glass? Oh, very good. With my magnifying glass back and my bags on board the ship, I'm ready to go. Go tell our gallant captain. Is the good doctor ready to go? By Neptune's knuckles. It's also about time to set sail. Let's round up the rest of the crew and begin our journey. Hi, Pootich. Welcome to Africa. Come talk to me. I've got something for you. I've got a nice gadget for you. Chrono goggles. They allow you to see through time and space. Even having them on your head will let you see persons or items from other time periods. If you spot something or someone who doesn't belong to this time period, put the goggles on. This allows you to help correct any time slips you encounter. The goggles consume insane amounts of energy, so you can only keep them on for a short period of time and only use them a limited number of times. Good luck, Chrono Spotting! <laughs> 